Hello, welcome back to Conan Exiles, and we're in our western base, which is in the desert over here, just next to Sepamaru. And I'm wearing a different outfit today, because I bought some DLCs recently, I got a couple, and this is an outfit from one of those, but I'll talk about those in a second. But what we're going to do today is go down to the dregs, just down here. And we're going to pay a visit to the Abyssal Remnant, who is a boss. And he's a fairly low level boss, I have to say, but one we've not actually tackled in a long time. And the, <laughs> the reason I want to go and see him is that I wanted a way of managing corruption. Because in some of the dungeons I've been visiting recently, like the Warmaker's dungeon over there, I've been picking up quite a lot of corruption. And there's a potion you can get that helps you, uh, you know, keep that at bay. So I thought I might do an episode based on hunting down all the specialist cooking recipe books you can find, because there's ten of them in the game, and I think I've found two or three so far. But I thought an episode devoted to hunting down these cookery books might be quite fun. And then I remembered that one of the cookery books involves you going down to a location around here, called the Tower of the Bats. And if you go to the Tower of the Bats, there's like a strange portal that you can activate if you put a staff into the ground. And the staff is something you pick up from the Abyssal Remnant. So that's the idea. We're going to go down, whack the Abyssal Remnant, nick his staff. Then we'll have an episode where we go and look for cooking recipes. And while we do that, we'll go to the Tower of Bats and see what that staff does. But yeah, the um, the DLCs I got, one of them was the Architects of Argos. And this is, I think, Phalanx armor from that. Where is it? Come on. Yeah, Argosian Phalanx chestplate, gauntlets, etc, etc. Got the helmet over here. Um, I'm not loving it. I don't like the pattern on the boobs in particular. Look like ice cream swirls, don't they? And everything else looks a bit cheap and nasty about it. I'll show you what I mean. If I hold a weapon, let's get that up. I mean, look at that thing hanging down at the front. It looks like a beaver's tail, doesn't it? And at the back, it just looks a bit, it looks a bit tacky. <laughs> I've actually dyed this as well to try and improve it a little bit. So that skirt was like a, a sea gray color sort of thing, aquamarine, if you like. And that's meant to be a, a blue, but Every colour you put on this looks so dismal. So I'm not sure I'm loving this, to be honest with you. Not sure I'm loving the Argosian stuff at all. Um, but I'll wear it for this episode. But if it disappears after the next one, then you know I didn't like it. I'll give it to someone else. But the other DLC I got was the Riddle of Steel. And it's got various stuff in it. But one of the main attractions, or rather the reason I got it, was good you get lots of different helmet designs. I've got them down here. So there's this thing, which is a Reaver helmet, which is interesting, isn't it? It's massive, though, for my little body. It's truth. It might work on Heth here. It might look quite good on him, actually. So there's that one. Or there's a Ravenger helmet, which, again... That's quite fun. A little bit heavy looking. But <laughs> I like the variety in the helmets. I do like the variety. Then we've got the King's Guard, which is terrible. That looks like some sort of primitive COVID mask, doesn't it? That's really nasty. Again, it might look okay on someone like Heth's, but it's something that I'm not going to wear. It honestly looks like a flower pot. Well, a metal flower pot that's been turned upside down. It has some bits welded to it. Go down to the next one. There's this. Again, another monstrosity. Um, I do like this, I have to say, even though it is quite ugly. <laughs> Again, it might look quite nice on someone else. I, I don't know, it's all, yeah. I, it's a bit much, isn't it? It's a little bit much. Yeah, I think that's my second favourite of all the helmets in the set. It's just so mad with the double snakes there. But my absolute favourite, and something I really do like, is this one here. Stepped helmet, which I think looks fantastic. That looks really good. Unfortunately, it is the weakest of all the helmets. 
That is a stepped helmet, and that is, well, that's got an armor value of 35.2. Um, what were the other ones again? Did I tell you what that one was called? This is the Setite Cult helmet. Sorry, Setite Cult. And that is... The armor value on that is 211, so that's very good indeed. It's probably the most powerful one. This is the Kingsguard helmet, the stupid one. That's 96.5. Um, Ravenger, we looked at. Did I give you the, the stats for that? I can't remember. That's 96.5. And the last one, or the first one, was this crazy thing. Again, 211. So very nice. So it's a shame that the helmet I like the most is actually the weakest of all of them. But the Abyssal Remnant is a bit of a pushover. So I think we're safe enough wearing this for this adventure. But what I'll do, I will go and get rid of those helmets, I'll put them away. And then we can use the map to get down to the remnant, because there's a, an obelisk quite close to him. So I shall see you in a few minutes. Right, we're all sorted out. Who shall I take? Shall I take Rosida? Who is... what level are you at? Level 12! Um, or should I take... Hang on, where's he gone? Where's Ramses? Oh! Oh, there he is. I was going to say you lucked out then. I mean, oh, Ramses is level 18. This is going to be a fairly easy one. I'll take Roz with me, I think. How much healing did she have? 66. I might steal some of yours, actually. Steal some of yours. You got plenty. Don't make faces at me. Right, let's give that to you. And then let's get going. We won't take the horse. Or should we? Should we take the horse? Uh, I won't, I won't. We'll... No, no, I will, because we'll have to run back, won't we? Otherwise. Let's go back in style. Right. Right, Concord, you're coming with us. Follow, please. Off we go. Yeah, so there's an obelisk very close to this place. I've just got to remember which one of these does it, though. That it? Oh dear, it's very confusing, isn't it? I think that might be it. That is it, I'm sure it is actually, yeah. Right, let's get going. Here we are. So we're on top of this, like, temple thing. Whoop. Oh, okay, okay. Look at this. What happened there? Let's come out of here. You see, I don't like this at all. It looks like a cheap dress, doesn't it, this outfit? It doesn't look like armour at all. <laughs> it looks like a house dress. Anyhow, what we're going to do in here is make a human sacrifice. And it's quite fun. Actually, I'll show you where we are again. We're down here. It's quite fun because there's some ghosts down there that show you what to do. So if you're paying attention, it's quite obvious what has to happen. But it can be a little tough to figure out. But it's probably one of the most impressive dungeons, but it's quite an early game dungeon. I think the recommended level is something like 15 or something like that you can do it at. So what we've got to do, let's see if we can see the ghost first. Can we sneak in? Oh no, there's someone there. Okay, let's come over here. Let's see if we can see the ghost first. Oh, level three. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he went down easy. Right, come on. Where's... Where's Roz? Where's Roz? Let's see if we can see the ghosts. Here we go, look. All gathered round. There's the sacrifice. Yeah. Down she goes. Yuck. And then you see him walking downstairs. And that's what we've got to do. There she is. What be you? So we've got to lure someone in here. And then kill them. Oh, poor old Concord. He's stuck. Anyway, let's get our bow out. You'll do, won't you? Come on. Get a little gang of them. 
Look at that one, he's just standing there. It's completely oblivious. Well, we've got to go inside. We've got to kill them here. There we go. That's it, I think. That'll do. That's going to do it. There we go. There we go. Nice. And then we can follow this guy down. Excellent. It's clever, isn't it? I think it's really good fun. Um, where's my torch? We're going to need a torch in here. Deaths. Come down. Oh, there we go. Forgot about this. <laughs> Excellent. Right, is everyone here? Oh, look at this. Right, I've learned the feats. Dredger. Okay, oh, that's very interesting, I'm sure. Um, dredger, what does that do? I don't honestly remember that. There's well, something here. Read that. Right, adventurer's note number one. The Defari Horde chased us into an old ruin. It was a dead end. I thought it was over. Dear Semet stepped forth bravely to hold the entrance, but the leader of the Defari, a wild brute with mud and twigs in his hair, cut him down. I was preparing to make my final stand when the very ground in the chamber began to rumble. The walls shook and the earth moved. The savages fled, wailing through the passageway as the ground beneath them began to rise. It was a staircase. This was the entrance we had been searching for. Quickly, I stepped over Semat's corpse, just long enough to close his eyes and grab his gear. Then I headed down the staircase into darkness. As my eyes adjusted, I came into a large cavern. What a sight! The floor is covered in ankle deep water and ghost fire burns above deeper pools whose murky depths are hard to fathom. Phosphorescent growths cling to the water's edge and in their dim glow, large creatures are moving in the water. I must be cautious. If the treasure is truly down here, I will need to stay alive in order to find it. There we are. So he's basically described everything that's just happened and everything down here, which is a little bit redundant, I feel. But there's some interesting stuff down here, I think. Right, this is the adventurer. And he's suggesting that we dive down there, so let's let's do that. So I've only ever done this once. Um, I don't... Is that the horse? Right, I, I want that. And I want that. Let's come up. Did the horse follow me down there? Is that the... It was, it was the horse. Stupid animal. Yeah, I want that fibre and wood to repair my torch. Hello. All ghosty sounds. Right, let's get the torch up. Beloved, come see. So it's very nice, isn't it? I say nice, it's horrible, but it's, it's very well done. <laughs> let's go down here. Is there anything to see? Right, let's get some goop. I think we will need that. I think you get quite an interesting recipe down here. I think you get a recipe for glow sticks from memory. So we have to search for that. Um... I don't really need any more of that, do I? Let's have a look around. Yeah, if you're not familiar, well, you won't be familiar with this place unless you've been here before. But the idea, the idea is that this is the sewer of the unnamed city. So what used to happen was that the unnamed city would get its water from here and the water would flow down this big aqueduct down here then the giant kings would use it to flush their toilets and have showers and cook pasta and things like that. And then the water would flow down here and then into the river. So that's the idea behind this place. But the um, the monster we're going to see at the end of it, the Abyssal Remnant. When you see the artwork for him, he looks really impressive. 
when he actually turns up, he's like a giant maggot with an attitude problem, but it's still good. It's still good. I won't knock it. I thought there was more chests to look at. And I'm sure there used to be lizards down here. I'm sure there were lizards. Mind you, it's been a couple of years since I was here, so everything might have changed. Oh! This is just the glowing goop. Of limited value to us at the moment. Unless... Have we already learned it? Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, when we interacted with that with that stylus back there, whatever you want to call it. Was that teaching us the recipe for these glow sticks? Oh, come on. I mean, yeah, glow sticks, there we go. So bone and the goop. Ah, oh, did one of those chests have some bone in it? Where's that chest gone? Here we go, here we go, found it. Are there bones in there? Yay! Right, I've got gloop, got bones. Let's make some of those torch things. Excellent. Here we go. We got that. I can't remember why it's better than a torch, but it is, I think. You might be able to use this underwater. Let's check it out. Can we, can we, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. It stays alight underwater. Very handy. Very, very handy. Good. Well, let's get the torch back for the time being, because I'm a bit of a traditionalist. Let's have a look around here. Some bones, as you'd expect. I don't think there's too much to look at. Oh, hello, hello. Look at all this. <laughs> right, the game really wants you to go through there, doesn't it? It really wants you to go through there. I don't know why, but the game does really hold your hand through this particular dungeon. I suppose because it's the first significant dungeon that a new player would come across normally. Square to interact. You'll notice it doesn't say square to interact. There's nothing to tell you to do there. I think there's skeletons down here. Right, saying, Come to me. Come to me. Is this poison gas? It wouldn't be, would it? No, just sewer gas, I think. It's probably a bit smelly, but beyond that. Jump up here. Can't climb that. Go on. Um. Um, alright, I forgot what to do. I must be able to get up there. Oh, come on, let's try this again. Let's not fall at the first hurdle, eh? <laughs> it's really not liking it, is it? There's some stairs there. Um, let's put that down. Can I jump on that? Oh, it doesn't want me to do it. Oh, hang on, I remember now, I remember, yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm being stupid. What you got to do, you got to get a bow and arrow up. Yeah, bow and arrow, please. And then you've got to shoot that. There we go. Right, then the water comes in, that's right. We swim. Up, up, up. That's the next one. Nice. Yeah, it's all about the bows and arrows down here. I thought... Oh, the guys are back there. I thought you picked up a bow and arrow somewhere, if you didn't have one yourself. 
I thought there was somewhere you could pick up a bow and arrow, but perhaps I'm misremembering. And not a sign of a skeleton. I thought there were quite a few of them down here. Yeah, I remember this getting a little bit complicated. Ah, what have I got to do? I've got to find something else to shoot at. Right, I'm going to regret bringing you, aren't I? Come on, over here. Oh, let's not... Jeez. Oh, Can we get up, please? There's someone to get up here. Um, what are we going to do now? <laughs> I was very cocky, wasn't I? I was very cocky about this place, but it's so long since I've been here. I'm going to find something else to shoot, I'm sure. Here we go, here we go. Oh, there's, there's one over there and one over there. Let's do this one. Hop. Watch up. Right, let's get the glow stick. Go over here. Hop, hop. Come on. Oh, it's going right the way up. Ooh. Up here? Phew. So, did it matter which side we climbed up? There's something over there. There's all vents over there. I'm sort of quite intrigued. What is over there? Should we have a look? Let's come down. We've got to do now, don't we? Oh god, it's... okay. I didn't realise... up, up, up! The water was still there. <laughs> There's the poor horse. Well, should we swim over? Swim over. Let's see if we can see what's down here. just want to make sure there's... Oh, look, look, there is something, look. Oh, some stones, how wonderful. Right, the water's going down now. Let's go over here. Now... Could we have shot that over there? Is there a button there as well? There you go, yeah, there was a button. Whoa, alright, come, come on, come on, come on game. Come on game. Can we get up please? There we go. Up, 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 up. Ugh. Right, oh look, there's another thing. Oh, Adventurer's note number three. Where was number two? Did we miss a note? Okay, let's try and find the other note. Let's try and find it. Damn. I'm going to backtrack. There it is. It was in the middle of all these ghosts here, right at the beginning. So, note number two. At first I thought I had come to a dead end and that my quest for the treasure would be over. But then I noticed the stone mechanism set high into the walls along the corridors. Ah, they were built for a taller race than ours. Who knows what primordial race once stalled these corridors, well that would be the, the giant kings. But they can be activated from below with a thrown object or an arrow. There is something else, a voice. It speaks to me and is probably nothing. The strain of a long quest in search of my ancestor's treasure. Excellent. Let's go back through here again. Poor old horse. Look at that. Come on. Let's get down here. Alright, back here. Let's do this one again. Thank you. It's like calling a lift, isn't it? Up. Come on. Don't mess me around. Don't mess me around, game. Come on. Can we just get up here, please? There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, there we go. Here's note number three. Come on. Uh, the path forward grows less clear, and yet with every chamber that I conquer, my certainty grows. This is the place where my ancestor, the legendary Zapio, de Cordava, came in search of his ultimate dream. The voice in my mind whispers to me of the treasure that awaits me. She praises my strength and conviction. She tells me where to go and how to navigate this maze of confusing chambers. 
This is the path, and soon I will have both the secrets of my ancestors, and I will meet this mysterious lady who speaks in my mind. Yeah, I don't think you do meet a lady. Not from memory. So there's something else to whack. And we've got to keep an eye out. Got to keep an eye out for books. Nothing here. My little fish swim, it says now. Okay. Get this. Nice. Is that filling up? Can we jump into the reeking sewer water, please? There we go. Pop, pop, pop. There's another one. Is this? Is this going to do something? Oh. Is there something else to shoot at? There must be. There, there we go, there we go. Are these good arrows I'm shooting? They're certainly not healing arrows. Um, let's get the iron heads up. Not sure if I had iron heads up or not. Don't want to waste anything good. What's this up to? Yeah, waiting. Yep. Anything at all? No. Oh. What am I meant to do? Damn. Can I get around that? Oh, hang on, that's... Lots of water there. There's no water down. Okay, let's go back over here. Perhaps we can get around on the other side of this. Is there another one to whack? Yeah, there we go. We've got to do two of these. To that, to that here. Oh, that's going up. There we go. Look. Up, 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 up. Oh, yeah, we can get across there. All right, watch out! Watch out for the books. Let me get a book. I really don't want to backtrack. The thing is, the books are right in your path, aren't they? It's down here. Look at that. Wow. I don't remember this at all. Is that acid or something? What's in here? Uh, nah. What is that? Is that really horrible? What happens if I go in there? Oh, crap. Okay, that is bad. Let's not go in there. Yeah, I seem to remember that the monster that we find lives in a pool of acid like that. Right, let's go up. It didn't do me any harm though, did it? It didn't take any health. Right, we're sure we're not missing a book. Let's keep going. Oh, here we go, here's a skeleton. About bloody time. Thank you. Alright, alright, calm down. Right, it's saying it is destiny. Ooh. <laughs> oh, here we go, lots of... Waka waka. You're a bit slow. Look, there's someone. There's two of them. Go on, hit them. Oh, bloody hell, woman. I've got to adjust her attack. Oh, my God, look. I'm being murdered here, and you're just standing around. 
Could you do something, please? Like the Cobra exile, my bite is death. Yeah, well, go on. Thank you. At last. Let's adjust your attack. Uh, we want you to attack all enemies, please. Something up here. What's this? Right, not too much to see. Oh, this is nice. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> That's quite a nice thumbnail, but I've got too many thumbnails like this. With my character just sort of uh, standing there with the torch. Um, do one over here. Yeah, that might work. Is there anything to do here? Nah. What well, is a box? Oh, I don't want any rocks. Right, I'm keeping an eye out for this book. There's got to be another one. Oh, I say got to. I don't know. I don't know how many books there are meant to be. I'm saying I await you now. Well, we've been keeping a good lookout. I can't see anything. Can we get over here? Oh, can't climb that. Can I, can I jump up there? No. Oh, we're in the water, look. Did that. Is that going up or down? I don't know. I'm not sure. Is that going down? Oh, it's so difficult to tell. Let's just wander around. This is nice. Look at the water coming down. The waterfall. I swim through it. It's not going to hurt me, is it? No. So we better get up here, presumably. Uh. I get up there? No. Let's go back. We've got to be a bit clever about this. Up here. Up there. Can I get up there? Oh, stuck. Jump, jump. Right, where are the things to aim at? I can't see anything. Oh, I wonder if there's a way along. Are those pipes? They look like pipes, don't they? They are pipes. here might get a better view. Can we get into the roof? Is there something we missed here? There's no way up there is there? We've been up this bit. Definitely nothing here. Must be something I'm missing. Let's put the the axe down. Let's have a swim around here. Just somewhere to climb up. There we go. There we go. That's it. Come on! Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. There we go. Anything to see here? Can't get up there, can we? No. Here we go, there we go, look. Oh, that's a long shot. Um, right, well, let's see if we can do that. No. No. 
thought there'd be more of a drop on it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, um, get that up. What are we up to? I have no idea where we're going. What do we got over here? I'm just going to places we've not been to before. This looks promising, doesn't it? Jump, jump. Why oh, is a box? Nice big one. Oh, full of rubbish. I got some arrows. I'll take the arrows. Ah, oh, where to now? So we could have got up here. Go over here. For old Concord. Hmm. That's all going down again. So we're on the other side of that obstacle there now. There's nothing else to shoot at, is there? There's just that. There's Rosita down there. Can we get into one of these things over here? Can we get into those? We oh, oh right okay. Uh, no, they're too high up. We can't get into them. Oh damn. Okay, well it's going up and down. We'll be okay. So we've got to wait for the water to bring us up to there. I think. So that's the only place we've not been to. That's good. That's nice. Oh, don't drown. Come on, up, 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 up. We can get up this, we can get up this, come on. Oh, this has got to be it. Can we get up this, please? Come on. There we go, look at that. There we go. Phew. Oh, crap. Close now. Okay, I think we are very close, in fact. <laughs> We're going to take some food. Dump that. You see how it is such a good dungeon? It's really nice, I must say. This is your mind, beloved. Your mind. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here, Rosita. Oh, it's a, it's a skeleton. Oh, you, can, you can attack the skeleton. That's all right. You can attack the skeleton. Okay, come back, Rosita. Come back, come back. Come back. There's a thing spitting acid at her. Come up here, please. Come, okay, let's get these guys. No. Damn it! Come, come back here, please. Pay attention, man. Rosita, come back. Ah, oh, I've got to adjust you again, don't I? Come here. Are you gonna behavior attack? Just guard me. Guard me. Come back. Come back. Oh. Right. Good. Good girl. She's all right. It's my fault. It's my fault. But we've got a bastard thing here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> like I said, it's a maggot with attitude problems. Have I got? Oh, I've got the glimmer up, haven't I? Look at you. So I can't remember how we attack you now. What do we do? Do I just sh oh okay, shoot him with a bow and arrow, I suppose. Bow and arrow, please. Whoops. Oh, three skull, I don't remember him being a three skull. Down he goes. This is ringing a bell now. I think he comes out. I think he flops out and then we attack him. Ugh. Come on. Oh, he's gone down. Come back. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. There you go, maggot boy. Come on. Kitcha. 
Right, he goes down really easy. He's a three skull boss, but damn it, get out of the water. It's acid. Where's Roz? Come back, Roz. Roz, come. Is she in the water? Is she in the acid? Oh, you stupid woman. We've got to stay here. Yeah, we've got to just take these acid attacks for a little bit. Oh, well, let's just shoot on the arrow. Come on. Okay, down he comes. Down he comes. He's coming down. No, he's, no, he's not. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Come, there we are. Thank you. Right, let's get an axe up. Chop, chop. And he's down. And it's a journey step. Destroy the abyssal remnant. Right, let's pick you up, shall we? Um, let's do that. Chop, chop. Ow. Got something there. This pool will fill up again in a minute. So what we're going to do... Abysmal fang, abysmal flesh. Yeah, so we've got to gather up what's down here. Look, there's something there. Press to interact. I've learned all sorts of things. Uh, reptile leather epic armor and some other stuff. I thought there was more. I thought there was more stuff here. I can't. There's. No, no, that's a bit of wood. All right. Okay. Well, let's come out. Let's come out. Press to interact. I think he was suggesting I interact with that book again. Well, that's it. That is pretty much it. Is it filling up? Yeah. Look, horrible thing. And what we do now is we go through one of these portals. So hopefully there are only three adventurers' notes. If I've missed out a note. I will copy it in the show notes to this episode, so you can read it. Right, still saying you're mine, beloved. By now we know it's just a rotten trick. Just looking around to make sure there's no notes here. I can't see anything. I've probably stepped over it a dozen times. Here is there. Very good sound effects. There's nothing up here. I can't remember how long it takes for that abyssal remnant to respawn, but never mind. I think we're going now. We are going. Right, glow stick is broken. Excellent. And we are where? Where are we? Where is this? Oh, we're overlooking that structure. I think. Uh, yeah, more or less. Yeah, we're just overlooking... Al well, we are on Algar's overlook. <laughs> overlooking the dregs. But did we pick up the thing I came for? It was like a staff. There is Staff of the Triumvirate. A staff topped with a serpentine skull. So we will have to remember to take that with us when we do the next episode. Which will be to the Tower of Bats. Well, it will include the Tower of Bats. Should be quite a long episode, I think. If we're going to find all the cooking recipes. Because like I said, there's there's ten cooking recipes. And I think there's three brewing ones. And there's also another one. It's like pirate cuisine or something like that. But yeah... I enjoy that dungeon, I must say. It's quite easy, but it's it's nice to figure out. It's a nice little puzzle for you. The devs put an awful lot of effort into it, yeah. Very well done, devs. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope to see you again for the next episode. And until I do see you again, I shall say goodbye. Okay then, cheerio.